I tried so hard to retrace my steps, but the devil kept pushing me deeper and deeper into my mistakes. You know, I, I really wonder if my wife would ever forgive me for that. How exactly did they love her die, though? Poison. Hmm. They never say they saw her dead after vomiting blood. But what's really bothersome right now is the police are beginning to suspect my wife. But hang on a moment. I thought Rachel didn't know about her. Yeah, she doesn't. And I intend to keep it that way. But Rachel is a good woman. <laughs> she most certainly isn't a saint, though. How she ever wanted was a better life. I don't really see anything hard in that. Even if she had to indulge in extramarital affairs to get this better life? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, our wives, Bowali, have decided to get involved with rich men who can meet their financial needs. Not my Rachel. The five million naira loan you've been expecting was supposed to come from a man she, your Rachel, has been having an affair with. My wife, on the other hand, has no job, but is spending millions and millions of naira on a beauty palace project. She most certainly isn't plucking money from trees, though. something? I would like for us to spend the weekend together. Why? I mean, you've been worked off of lately and I feel we should take this fun time out to ease up your stress. You know what I mean, right? Thank you, Donna. I'll be fine. I don't think I'll be needing any fun time with you to ease off any stress. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you tired of this relationship or something? What do you mean? Because I've been getting this not so pleasant vibe from you and I don't like it. So if there's anything you want to say, I, I feel you should come out straight. I've been nothing but straight with you, Donna. I can't say the same for you. Not because I love you, you're going to be throwing this stupid attitude at me and expect me to catch it with all pleasure. You love me. Are you sure about that? How the hell do you think I'm dating you? I could think of a few reasons. For career purpose. <laughs> Please. You, you think I'm dating you to keep my job here? Maybe not here. I wish I was not in love with you as I am, Donna. It would have been a lot easier for me to solve this situation that I am in now. And what situation are you in right now? I'm sure you know very well. I do not know. Then this conversation is over. from a bank. Was it really from a bank or was it from a man that you were having an affair with? Have you been drinking? Answer me, Rachel. What sort of stupid question is that? The money you raised for your mom's surgery. Was that from Mabel? Or were they proceeds from one of your extramarital affairs? You have a murder case hanging around your neck. And you think now is the right time to question my faithfulness? You said it. I knew it. I knew you hanging around with, with those irresponsible friends of yours was such a bad idea. 
Well, maybe if you had provided for me financially as my husband, instead of lavishing money on that pregnant mistress of yours, or maybe paying 100% tithe, maybe I wouldn't have had to go look for financial help somewhere else. So, you admitted that you have been cheating on me? Yes! But at least I didn't kill anyone to cover up my dirty deeds. Whoa, you think I killed a lot? At least her friends and the police think you did. So maybe it's time you own up, because honestly, Bowale, I am tired of being questioned over something I know nothing about. You know, I'm, I'm beginning to think the police are right in suspecting you. What does that mean? Yeah, I mean, maybe you found out about a lot somehow, and then you decided to to get rid of her! How dare you, Boale? How dare you ever say that to me? Don't you try to pin this on me! It is your mess, and I will not go down for it! your husband. What has come over you, Rachel? My husband got another woman pregnant, and I'm the evil one because I gave him one slap he deserved. I could have slapped you back, you know. Ah, whoa, Boale, it's not too late. Please feel free to slap me back. Enough, Rachel! He's the head of the family. You oh, do not no. raise your hand at him. Please, spare me the head of the family rubbish. Did he also tell you that he was planning to use part of the money I was raising for the poultry business to pay off his mistress? I was only trying to save you from the pain and emotional torture which you're obviously going through right now by paying the lady off. Oh, please, Boali. If you didn't have an affair in the first place, or maybe even get her pregnant, then there wouldn't be anybody to pay off. But you also have an affair too. And for all I know, that affair is still ongoing. So what if it is? Am I supposed to feel guilty for it? Mama? Can you hear your daughter? This is not you, Rachel. Of course I know it's not me. But mommy, this is who my husband is turning me into and I'm completely unapologetic about it. Mama, please find out from your daughter if she knows anything about it long. Oh, Bowali, I will give you another slap and you'll be so lucky if you don't lose a tooth this time. Look, Rachel, I might be guilty of adultery, but one thing I certainly will not do is commit murder. That's fine. Please go ahead and explain to the police and not to me. <sighs> Sir, he knows I'm an undercover private investigator and I know that for sure. Time to call off the mission then. You've done your best. No, sir. I, I know I can make him work with us and give up Austin. I don't think that would be possible. Sir, it's possible. This guy is in love with me and it's a weakness I can leverage on. But that's too dangerous. Dangerous is what we do every day. What if we go for Sanchez instead? Sanchez is a small fish, sir. Austin is the jackpot we need, and going after Sanchez may just ruin our chances. Well, since Derek already knows he has an undercover, like you said, don't you think he might have alerted Austin? It doesn't matter, sir. I could drag him to our corner. I doubt he's going to betray his brother for you. <laughs> then you must really underestimate the power of a woman. Really? Mm hmm Hey, you. Uh -huh. Hi. So you didn't go out with your darling sister today? I don't understand. Do I have to go everywhere with her? Do I look like happy? Well, you certainly have been acting like it this past few weeks. 
Listen, Michael, I just came to ask you if you're still interested in going to Canada with me. Tash, there is no way you need to support that plan anymore. If by support you mean finance, then I can take care of it. What I mean, Tash, is Eunice will not consent to me relocating to Canada with you, knowing what she does about us right now. But you don't need her consent, Michael. <laughs> so, so what, I should just up and leave? Like, just go? Abscond? All I can say is, Eunice is not who you think she is. She can do anything for money. Tell me something I don't know, Tash. Trust me. You have to get as far away as possible from her. Why? Because she's sleeping with another man for money? It's worse than that. Worse? What do you mean, worse? Listen, Michael, all I can say is... Eunice didn't get the money she's spending on the beauty salon from a man, like you assumed. So how did she get it? Did she rob a bank? Just make up your mind already. Follow me to Canada and trust me, you're going to be fine and safe over there with me. There has been a new development, Mr. Debowale. You found the Lahus murderer? Not exactly. But we recently discovered that she had two other male friends. One happens to be a married man, while the other a single guy. She was seeing other guy? Yes, collecting money from them, just the way she was doing to you. And making them believe that they were responsible for her pregnancy. Goodness gracious. So does that mean I'm not even the one responsible for her pregnancy? We are yet to realize that. But we discovered that the wife of the other married man has been unaware of a law house affair with the husband. And we are thinking she could be responsible. I'm just saying, she could be the one responsible for the murder. Oh, thank God. Hey, we don't know for sure yet. It's just a theory, but the investigations are still ongoing. It's a relief fingers have been pointed in another direction. Because I was beginning to think my wife killed a girl. And why would you think so? Oh. It will turn out I'm not the only one being unfaithful in our marriage. Yeah, my wife was sleeping with other men for money. And if she could do that, I don't think I can trust her not to do anything. <laughs> it's interesting. Thank you, Tonya. You know, you're the only one who actually looks out for me in this whole house. <laughs> mm, it's my job. Yes, but you know, I have a wife whose bride price I paid in full and who swore to, you know, take good care of me, but now she's too busy gallivanting with her sister. <laughs> mm. Now you see why sending me away will be to your disadvantage. No one is sending you away, Tonya. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, Natasha said something to me the other day, and um, I, I didn't know what to think. Um, what is it? She said uh, the money in is spending. She didn't get it from a man. You believe that? Well, she said she got it from a worse source. Worse source? Mm-hmm. 
Anyway, she's insisting that I relocate with her to Canada with or without um, Eunice's approval. Are you going to do that? No. I really am curious to know, you know, how Eunice is making this money. So you have to agree to relocate to Canada first before you even know that. planning to go away with her. Well, Tonya, I told you what you need to do for us to be together, but you refuse to listen. <laughs> Why do I have to be the one to do it? This is our love we're talking about here. We should fight for it together. Isn't that what I'm doing? Hmm, Tonya? I gave you the plan for you to execute. If you really want us to be together as much as you claim, then you'll do whatever it takes. I don't know what I'm doing. Rachel isn't in the best of her seasons, and that's why she's been keeping to herself a lot these days. Has she done the test? No, not yet. She's been going through police drama. Police drama? Yes, her husband got a woman pregnant, and now, and she was murdered. Wow, wow that's... That's... That's bad. Mm -hmm. The police think that Rachel could be responsible. Do you think she did it? I would like to say no, but then human beings are full of surprises. Carlos, I told you to stop calling me. I will call you when I have something. Sorry, madam. I need money to solve lots of problems. We all need money. My money problem is bigger than yours right now. Stop talking to me like I owe you. All I'm asking is for you to show me someone I can take the money I need from. It shouldn't be that difficult. So you think I have a pool of rich friends who are ready for pickups? Carlos, like I said, I will call you once I have what you need. Thank you. Why the police asked Rachel to come over again today? I thought you say they have another suspect. Yeah, I think it's just mere formality. I was also invited over so that they can tell me they have another suspect. I can't wait for this storm to be over so that your home can be peaceful again. 
Me too. <sighs> but Rachel still has a lot of explaining to do. Over what? I need to be sure she's still not having an affair. <sighs> I don't know where you got all this idea of Rachel having an affair. <sighs> I, my daughter is not like that. Mama, your daughter admitted to me that she was actually having an affair. I'm sure she didn't mean it. Where do you think she got the money for your surgery from? Look, Boali. I want you to forget about all this hearsay and what Rachel said out of anger. You are both Christians. You need to forgive yourselves. What are you doing here? I want you. I mean in my office when I'm not here. I was waiting for you. Do you want something? I want us to talk. I'm listening. So, I don't know what it is you've heard about me. It may be true, it may not be true. But one thing I know for sure is that I love you and that is the truth. Is there something you're trying to tell me, Donna? I just told you the most important thing, that I love you, Derek. I wish I could handle the answers to some of the questions I have to ask you. They don't ask, Derek. I'm caught up in this web more than you are. No, Donna. I'm the one in the deepest part of this trouble here. How? Because even if I know the truth about why you're in this company and in my life, I can't still let you go. Derek, listen to me, Derek. We'll find a way to make it work. We can, we can make it work. Are you a private investigator working on the cover of this while? Please. Please, Derek, don't make me answer that question. Please. For the sake of our love, please. You told the police I killed that girl. What are you talking about? I'm just coming from the police station for questioning, where I was told that you released a statement that I am capable of committing murder. Boale, how could you say that to the police? I was misquoted, okay? I mean, when they told me they got another suspect for the murder, I, I told them how relieved I was because I was beginning to think you did it. Are you an idiot? Every single time I go to that station, I spend every minute, every second defending you. And there you are trying to implicate me. Did you not hear what I just explained? It doesn't make sense. Listen, Boale, the next time you try to say anything to implicate me, I will go over to the station and I'll tell them you confessed to me that you killed her. You dare not. Mm -hmm. Try me, Boale. Listen, let me tell you something. I understand and I absolutely know what is going on right now. But I'm still your husband and I deserve some respect from you. Respect my food. You're an absolute moron. Rachel, stop that for me, please. This guy is trying to pin a murder I did not commit on me. Why would I not pin it on you? Hmm? Why would I not suspect you when you're busy sleeping around with different men in this town? How dare you say that to me, Paul? How dare you say that to me? Stop it! I killed a lover! 
It was me. I killed her. I met that Eloha girl and I could tell she was going to make your lives miserable if she's allowed to leave. So I took it upon myself to get rid of her. Mommy, stop saying this. It can't be true. It is true, Rachel. I did what I did so you two can have peace. So stop fighting and enjoy your marriage. But, Mommy, you're not even capable of murder. I'm a mother who would do anything to protect her child's happiness. How on earth did you even get to poison her? The less you know, the better. So stop blaming each other and get on the path of forgiveness. I have an idea what the time is. What part of don't call me did you not understand? You don't make making this matter difficult. Give me what I want. I need money at first. We need to make adequate plans. Else you will get both of us in trouble. The last operation went smoothly because it was well planned. I will call you soon. <sighs> You're awake. Yes. Who was that that called you at this time of the night? My business partner. Mm, business yeah. partner. Is that what we're calling the men that you're having an affair with these days? Business partner? Michael, it's too late for this senseless talk. Tell me, Eunice, why are you still in this marriage? Can we not do this tonight, please? Mm. You're having an affair with a man, or men, maybe. I don't know. What I don't understand is why you expect me to accept this in good faith. Michael, I am not cheating on you. Even though you deserve to be cheated on. You raped my sister! Natasha told you that to save face. What happened between us was consensual and it happened once. As if that makes it less bothersome. Then why is she still here if it bothers you so? Michael, I am done with this conversation. Good night.
Lunch is ready. I'm not hungry. What are you thinking about? Why did you kill someone, mommy? She was going to reel your marriage. There are so many other ways to deal with the situation. Not by committing murder. Tell me. Tell me about them. Tell me how you intend to live happily with another woman pregnant for your husband when you're yet to give him any child. I could divorce him and then find another man. Rachel, we are Christians. Divorce is not an option. How does taking a life, two lives actually, how is it better than divorce as a Christian? <laughs> I won't be mocked, Rachel. No daughter of mine will fail in her marriage. So you did it to save your image? Can you just tell me thank you? Let's move on already. Mommy, we cannot move on from here. Why did you have to spill in front of Boali? He needed to know, so you two can stop pointing fingers at each other. So what if he goes to the police? After I helped him clean up his mess, he won't be that stupid. You don't create a bigger mess to clear the small one. Nobody does that. How much of this is true? All of it, Derek. This is hard for me to believe, you don't know. But it doesn't change the fact that it's still true. Have I been helping you with your undercover investigations? We agreed we won't talk about this, Derek. But I cannot pretend it doesn't bother me that I could have betrayed my own brother. Derek, whatever is happening to your brother now is not your fault. He brought it upon himself. So something's going to happen to him. Derek, your brother is neck deep in the underworld of drug trafficking. And the law is going to catch up with him someday, with or without my involvement. But I made that happen soon with the information I gave to you, right? I will rather not answer that. You know I'm part of my brother's illegal activities. I'm going down with him one way or the other. No, it's not you the law is after, it's your brother, Derek. Derek, you're a good man, and that's why I'm with you. Thank you. Yes, ma. Um, ma, there's something I would like to tell you. Go on. Mm. You know you've been very nice to me. And it would be very unfair if I see something that will hurt you and not tell you. What is it, Tonya? <sighs> Maybe it's nothing, ma. Sorry, ma. Come back here, Tonya. Tell me what you want to tell me. Let me be the one to decide if it is something or nothing. It's about your husband and your sister, ma. What about my husband? I saw them in your bedroom two days ago, and they acted like they were caught. Caught doing what? I can't say for sure, ma, but if what I think I saw is true, I'm sure I'll catch them again. Thank you. You're welcome, Ma. Hey, but Ma, please don't tell them I told you anything, no. Please. You can go, Tonya.
Hey, Sanchez. Derek, what's good? Good. Sorry I brought you out here. Nah, that's totally fine. I know that the office is no longer safe for us to meet. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? You're right. Dona is an undercover agent. It's planted in the company to gather information to persecute Austin. <laughs> she told you so? Yes. Now, why in the heck would she do that? Because she's in love with me. Okay, so how do we get rid of her? We don't have to do that. I can get her to flip to our own advantage. Now, how do you plan to do this exactly? Leveraging her affection for me. She will be our insider with the law, providing us with whatever information we need to cover our tracks even better. <laughs> you know what? You sound like us, you know, like you're part of us. Even though you turn us down from doing business with your company. I want Netflix to stay clean. This might be our only joker to getting out of this mess eventually. Okay. But be careful of that girl Donna, though. You know she's trained. How do you mean? Just make sure you're the one using her and not the other way around. Yeah? Okay. No, I know. Yeah. Since you've been unusually quiet today. Where are things with colors? He's been calling and sending me messages almost every hour. He must really be desperate. You know, Carlos' issue is the only reason why you're still in my house. Because I need your help to make a better decision. Okay. Normally, you shouldn't be anywhere close to my husband. Not after what I found out both of you did. Eunice, I thought we've moved past this issue. How are things between both of you? There is nothing going on between your husband and I anymore. I hope you're telling me the truth. For your own good. Detective! <laughs> I am never happy to see you. <laughs> well, I understand how you feel. I'm only doing my job. Of course. Please have a seat. Okay, thank you. Where is your husband? He's not back from work yet. I've been calling him all day and he hasn't been picking. I was hoping you could help me answer a few questions. I thought you said you had other suspects on this murder case. How come you're still bothering us? Well, the wife of the man we thought could be responsible wasn't even in the country as at the time of the murder. So he can't be responsible. If she's not in the country at the time of the murder, does that make her innocent? Uh, her alibi checks out. Don't you think it is possible that she hired someone else to do the job and then planned her exit out of the country so the murder can be traced to her? Well, we are considering all possibilities right now. Not excluding what you just mentioned. Hmm. Oh. We have a guest? Yes. Um, mommy, this is Detective Barnabas. Yes. He is the one investigating the murder of 
Boali's pregnant mistress. Detective, my mom. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Detective. How is the investigation going? Well, going very fine. That's good. Yes. Please tell your husband to come to the station tomorrow. Yes, it's very, very important. I will. So, I bet you take my Thank Have you. a wonderful day. All right, bye. Thank you. What could they possibly want to see Bowali for? It has to be about the ongoing murder investigation. I know, but what new evidence do they have that would make them want to see Bowali? Let the police do their job. I don't like the fact that Bowali is getting interrogated alone. He's been looking for who to pin this murder on, and now he knows who is responsible. The police can't hold Bowali responsible. All he has to do is to keep his mouth shut. I hope he does that. Why did you lie to Eunice that you caught Natasha and I? <laughs> I have my reasons. Yeah, I'm sure you do. But I'd like to know what those reasons are. <laughs> You'll find out soon. You want Eunice to send Natasha away, don't you? <laughs> maybe, or maybe I have bigger plans. You know, Eunice knows that Natasha and I have slept together before, and yet she allowed her stay. Uh, I know. So what makes you think your lives will make any difference? <laughs> Listen. Just watch me play my cards. When I'm done, you'll understand the game. How are you? How was work? It was okay, Ma. The police came to look for you. The same police called me about ten times earlier today. He said you have to come to the station tomorrow. I'm not going. Why not? Ha! Mama, these police calls are causing a lot of distractions to my work and personal life. Bowale, you have to manage the situation until the police are convinced you didn't commit the crime. Hi. Hi. Detective Barnabas was here to see you. Your mom already told me. He said he called you several times, but you never took your calls. I don't have anything to say to him. You can't keep avoiding the police. It would make you, us, look suspicious. I already told your mom I'm tired of this police matter. Yeah. I can't be reporting to the police station like a criminal. Oh, you brought this upon yourself. No. Your mom brought this upon us. You were the one who had an affair, Bowali, and was careless mm. enough to get her pregnant. Look, an affair is a sin, but not a crime. But you see, murder, on the other hand, is both a sin and a crime. My mother would not have had to kill anyone if you had at least tried to keep your marital vow. Hey, you are not in any position at all, Rachel, to talk to me about keeping marital vows. No, you're not.
Hello, my brother. Sanchez. Hi. Thank you. Hi. So you're my husband's friend? I'm business associate. He mentioned to me that you're worried about the kidnap incident repeating itself. Yes. And I have told Derek that I need a bodyguard, but he refused. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You'll be protected. So you're my bodyguard now? I prefer guardian angel. You'll always be protected, even when you don't see me. <laughs> that sounds creepy. It's for your own safety. I'm surprised to see you resume work every morning for the past two weeks now. He just sent me a sack letter and I didn't get it. You and I know that I know who really you are now. So? So under normal circumstances, you shouldn't be here anymore. <laughs> True. Well, now that I'm here, what does that tell you? I don't know what to think. You know it's because I love you and I just want to help you out of the sinking ship, right? How exactly do you want this to work, Duna? You're part of the operation leading the arrest to my brother. And you want us to get married and live happily ever after? But Derek, your brother is going to get caught one way or the other. And I don't care about him. It is you I care about. And I want us to just be together forever. Do you really love me, Duna? How else do you want to prove it to you, Derek? Just by the fact that my cover has been blown, I'm still here with you. Do you love me enough to let my brother be and stop coming after him? Derek, your brother can't keep running from the law, okay? One way or the other is going to get caught. Is that why you're building a multi-millionaire luxury goods company by the side? Even if he's going to get caught, can you not be part of this so I don't look responsible for his takedown? That's the only way we can be together. Fine. If that's what you want. This is going to affect your career as a private investigator, right? It's what we do for love. Yeah, hello. Hello, Detective Barnabas. Okay, I am a busy man. I have a job. It's not important to me, it's important for you. This investigation is taking rather too long. Eh? I'm, I'm, I'm tired of being questioned as if I'm a criminal. I don't know. I'll let you know whenever I have a free time over work to come over to the station and entertain questions over a crime I did, I did not commit. Why are you being hostile to the police? Because they will keep asking you questions if you don't make them stop. Well, they would only let us go if they are sure we know nothing about the crime. But we do. And I'm honestly not happy about that. Bawali. You must never say anything that will implicate my mother to the police. Well, I hope so too. Because I'm tired of the police pestering my life. Listen. Adebowale Abiyon. If you ever say anything that connects my mother to this case, I will make sure that you go join your pregnant mistress in hell. And maybe you both can continue your affair from there. Hmm? Hmm?
Wait, let me understand you, Bawali. Your mother-in-law killed your pregnant mistress. Well, that's what I said. And now the police are on my case. <laughs> Do they have any evidence linking you to the murder? Well, they believe I must know something about it since she was pregnant for me, and I never intended for my wife to find out. So <laughs> that's no evidence, man. Yeah. My wife wants me to keep enduring the harassment by the police and not tell them the truth. Well, telling them the truth will send her mother to jail. Not telling them the truth will make them harass me the more. Do you want to lose your wife, Bawali? Because I'm very sure she won't want to stay married to you if you send her mother to jail. I will stop taking your calls, Carlos. I don't know where I live. You think so? Look, I'm trying to get the necessary information you need on the next victim to make it easier than the last one. So when will you be down? I don't know. As we speak, I'm looking at him and I hope I get it as soon as possible. You need to get a lawyer involved. What? Yes! What if Carlos succeeds in his kidnap operation and he comes back asking for another victim? How does talking to a lawyer solve the problem? Sis, a lawyer will advise you on how best to turn this whole situation around and send Carlos away for good. Not an option. Rachel has been avoiding me. I don't know whether she thinks I'm the reason for her predicament. Honestly, I really like her. But I... I think we just have to let her be. Mm -hmm. Like... I guess so. Yeah. <sighs> Who's the latest sitting close to Eunice? That's Natasha, Eunice's sister. Wow. She's beautiful. I know. <laughs> um, can I get to know her? Are you being serious right now? Yes, not that I look serious. Are you okay? What do you mean if I'm okay? Are you trying to infect all my friends with AIDS? It's not. It's not AIDS. It's HIV. And I'm sure there are ways we can have careful fun without infecting anyone. Ah, really? The same way you had careful fun with Rachel, eh? Say, we don't even know if she's infected yet. Listen, stay away from Natasha. Eunice knows you are HIV positive, and I'm very sure she doesn't want you around her sister. So I don't care what she thinks. I like what I like. Ugh. Detective, you are becoming quite a pest. Well, believe me, it's not my fault. Hmm. What do you want? Your husband has refused to honor my invitation. He has been very busy with work. Oh. I understand how that can be. But he made our time whenever we needed him when this investigation began newly. You can go ahead and ask me whatever question you like. I'm available to visit the station at any time of the day you need. After all, I am jobless at the moment. Oh, <laughs> interesting. You know, I admire your willingness and eagerness to help us in this investigation. What can I say? I am a patriotic citizen. Tell your husband to make our time and come to the station before the end of the week. Okay. Thank you for your time. Hey, Gerald. What's Hi. up? Are you leaving? Yes, but I'll stay back if this beautiful lady here tells me to. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Gerald. 
Natasha. That's me. Yeah. She's my sister. Oh, <laughs> yes. I I can see the resemblance. So, what do you say? Would you like me to sit and have a drink with you? Well, that decision is totally up to you. <sighs> okay then. Um, I don't mind. Since you don't mind. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, what are you guys drinking? This is good. Okay, you know, uh, I like it a little bit. Uh, yeah. So what do you do? I mean, you look beautiful. Mm -hmm. I can't help. I just been staring. Just <laughs> don't have to come in. Like, oh, my heart. Everything is like staring. What's Gerald doing? Doing where? He's hitting on my sister. Come on, you already know Gerald. He thinks he can get any girl with his money. I feel insulted, knowing fully well that he knows I know he slept with Rachel. He doesn't care. <laughs> Does he know I know he's HIV positive? Yes. In fact, I warned him to stay away from Natasha. But he says that there are ways of having careful fun. Really? Mm-hmm. If not for the respect I have for you, I'll go right now and put this oh, drink on his face. Relax. I'm down. It's not that serious. I'm sure Natasha can handle herself. Does she look like she's handling herself? Okay. Let's just say that Gerald is a professional charmer. <laughs> oh, really? Like, I mean, you, you know. Like, see. Oh, sorry. Oh, drink. You want to drink up, please? No. Okay, alright. <laughs> See, that's. I know this guy, like, I mean, it's, it's nothing new. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Well, I really like the way you smile. Yeah, it's so genuine, so innocent. Aww. I like that. I'm going to fall asleep for my cheeks, thank you. <laughs> so you'll be fine. Can you just stop? Okay, I am sorry I kept you waiting for too long. Tasha, are you out of your mind? What? Why were you all cozy with Gerald? All cozy? We were just talking, that's all. Just talking and you were blushing as if you are just reading your first love letter. <laughs> you know, the guy is really good with words. I hope you know he's HIV positive. Did you really have to bring up that topic now? Yes, I do. Men like Gerald are very dangerous and you need to stay away from him. I've heard you. Fine. Now, can we go? Drive. Can you smile? Can you just drive? Sonia, we are at the gate. Tasha, did you exchange number with Gerald? Yes, are we still at this Gerald's matter? Relax, it's not what you think. I was only asking because I want you to forget everything I told you earlier. I mean, I want you to get close to Gerald. What? Yeah, I need you to get close to him to get all the information I need for Carlos's operation. Oh, oh. Sis, no. I am not going to be directly involved with a kidnap plan. No. <sighs> Please, Tasha. You know, I was right about keeping you around. And I need your help more than ever, please. No. Eunice, I'm sorry, but please count me out.
Hi, honey. Hi. Hello. Have you had dinner? <laughs> wow, I can't remember the last time you asked me that question. Can you answer the damn question and stop with the blabbing? I don't have time for this. And there she is. Yes, I've had dinner thanks to Tonya, who made sure I did. Uh, thank you for asking, my darling wife. Whatever. Um, yeah. By the way, Bali was here today. Are you aware that um, Rachel's mom is responsible for the death of Bali's mistress? What nonsense are you talking about? Well, your friend's mother confessed to killing the lady to save her daughter's marriage from crumbling. Are you sure you know what you're saying? Why don't you call your friend on the phone and find out? Yes. This is not something we can discuss over the phone. Okay, I will see you at the lounge tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Hi. Bali. Hmm? Did you go to see Michael earlier today? Yes. And what did you guys talk about? General stuff. General stuff like how my mother killed your pregnant mistress? Well, I guess that came up too. Are you freaking kidding me, Polly? What is wrong with you? Why would you go about telling that to everyone? Do you want to send my mother to prison? What is the noise about again? At this time of the night? Mommy, I just got off the phone with Eunice and she was asking me if my mother killed my husband's pregnant mistress. How did she know about that? My stupid husband told her husband. Why are you so much in a hurry to disrespect me these days? Why do you keep taking the wrong decisions over and over again? Nobody else was supposed to know about that except the three of us. That was the only way we could keep it a secret. Well, I thought it was. It wasn't, wasn't a big deal since they are our friends. You have no idea how much I hate you right now. Boale, I told you and your wife about that matter in confidence. You shouldn't have told anyone else. Mama, I'm sorry about that. Well, you need to talk to your daughter because I'm no longer going to tolerate her disrespect. Why are you crying? Mommy, this, this whole mother situation is getting out of hand. I don't want you to go to jail. Stop crying. I won't go to jail. Okay. It's just Boali. If Boali didn't go ahead to have an affair in the first place, you wouldn't be entangled in this mess. Calm down. You will tell your friends to keep their mouths shut and not tell anyone about it. Mommy, it's not that easy. <laughs> You need to stop fighting your husband. I want you to have a peaceful home, which was why I did what I did. Fighting your husband all the time does not make me happy.
Hello, sir. Um, you were supposed to come in yesterday to give progress report. I know, sir, but it's best we just communicate on the phone for now, sir. Why? Sir, I'm yet to discover how my cover was blown. And I have to be very convincing in this my quest in order to win Derek over. Hence, I have to be very careful, sir. I understand. So, how is plans to win Derek over going on? It's going quite well, sir. We'll have him on our side in no time. Okay. Just keep me posted, right? All right, sir. All right. Talk to you later. Oh, I'm going out. Where are you off to? Carlos asked we meet. Do you want me to come with you? No, he said to come alone. Sis, are you sure that's a good idea? That guy is desperate. What if he decides to kidnap you instead? And you coming with me will provide him with two victims. Don't worry. I will be fine. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> that reminds me. Have you had time to ponder on what we discussed regarding um, Gerald? My answer still remains the same with that issue. Come on, Tasha. I need you to come through for me on this. Since there are 1,001 things that could go wrong with that plan. Not if you provide me with all the right information. Look at me, Belle. We executed it well because it was well planned. Eunice, my answer still remains no. You owe me, Tasha. And it's time for you to pay up. I owe you what exactly? You slept with my husband and I let it slide. I knew this day was going to come. I knew you were going to bring this matter up sooner or later. Tasha, you will get close to Gerald and provide me with all the information I need. That's an order. I'm just a tiny fraction of this takedown operation. This is bigger than you can ever imagine. And trust me, the law is coming after your brother and his cartel from every angle. And he's going down one way or the other. Wait, wait, wait let me understand this. You mean your mom killed Boale's mistress to protect your marriage? Well, that was the explanation she gave me and that's the situation I've been trying to manage. <laughs> Girl, your mom is a gangster. I like her. <laughs> I was stunned when my husband told me about it. Hmm. And that was why you couldn't wait to tell her. Oh, so she shouldn't have told me, Abby? It's fine, Mabel. I just hope she doesn't tell someone else. Because I don't want my mom to go to jail. Nobody wants that. Worn out. Tash, dragging in Lagos is very stressful. Mm. And it's even worse when you have to do it for a living. Yet you're bent on remaining in this country and continue to suffer. Well, your idea to abscond with you is not really a good one. Fine, fine, I give up. Well, I'm leaving soon. I can't continue to deal with all the madness going on right now. Mm -mm, I can't. What madness? Eunice is in a real mess. A very big mess, trust me. 
and she wants to drag me into it, but I will not let her do that. What are you talking about, Tasha? Michael, promise me you wouldn't say anything to Eunice. Fine, I promise. I'm serious. Promise me you won't say anything to her because if she finds out I told you anything, I'm sure she's never going to forgive me. Fair enough. I understand and I promise. Okay. The money Eunice has been spending on her beauty palace isn't from a man, like you assumed. She got it from me, Bill. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm serious. It's the ransom money from Mabel's kidnap. What? Yeah. Your wife masterminded the whole kidnap. serious about all these things that you've been telling me. Yeah. The guy she used to execute the plan is back and once had to get him another victim. This is unbelievable. But my fear is she wants me to get in involved with one rich guy at the lounge so I can be their informant for their next kidnap. Does it make sense? Ah, my wife, my own wife, Eunice, is now in the business of kidnapping. Well, as a matter of speaking, yes. <laughs> and I have a strong feeling she might get in trouble with the law real soon. Natasha, if what you have told me is true, then this is the final straw. I am ready to leave this country. Well, please, Michael, you have to keep this between us. Sure, sure, sure. Of course, I don't even want her to know that I know, because that will make me an accomplice. Yes. But I'll tell her before I leave, and I'll send her my divorce papers from Canada. That's great. Mr. and Mrs. Adiodun, it's a pleasure to have part of you. Though no, it was only you that we asked for, Mr. Adebole. Oh, we decided to come together just so you can ask all your questions once and for all. Well, I'm afraid there's no once and for all in this situation until the investigation is concluded and the murderer is brought to book. But you said I wasn't the only one she was blackmailing with her pregnancy. So why are you still bothering me? You are still our prime suspect, Mr. Adebole, until proven otherwise. Detective, please go ahead and ask all your questions because after today we will no longer be entertaining your unwanted visits and invites and you will have to speak to our lawyer henceforth. Well then, one of the deceased friends came forward with a chat history they had the night before the day she was murdered. And she said that both of you were going to meet that day. I don't understand. Okay. The deceased told her friend that you two agreed that you were going to meet the day, I mean the night before the day she was murdered. No, we didn't meet. We haven't even met each other in days before that day. But did you both agree to meet just like she told her friend? No, uh, I don't know. I, I can't remember. 
what is it? Which one is it? Is it that you can't remember? Oh no. So which one? Can you please stop bullying my husband? What does it matter if they were supposed to meet on the day she was murdered? Well, it matters a great deal. Even if they didn't meet as planned? Well, let's say we don't know if the meeting actually happened. Yes, he is about telling us that. I just told you that never happened. Okay. I think maybe you need some time to think about it. How about that? Detective, are we under arrest? No, 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 no. I'm afraid not. Very good, Bolly. Let's go. I'll forward our lawyer's number to you and I'll send yours to him as well. So from henceforth, all your communications, your questions, send it forward to him. Thank you. Thank you for driving me here. Um, you're welcome. The two men you met earlier, they'll wait to make sure that you get home safe when you're ready to leave. Oh, you have somewhere important to be at? Yes, a um, couple of business meetings. Oh, I see. Would you come back when you're done? My men will keep you safe. But I feel safer around you. Plus, you're good company. Then in that case, I'll um, make sure I speed up my meetings and come back as soon as I can. Thank you. You're welcome. My wife was really angry I told you her mom is a murderer. Well, you shouldn't have told me if it was a secret. I had to tell someone about everything that was going on. I was losing my mind. <laughs> so what's the situation now? Well, my wife told the police they'll have to hear from our lawyer henceforth. And they've not bothered us since then. So the storm is over? I hope so. I need to know if my wife is still having an affair. Why do you think I'll have that kind of information? Because you'd want to tell me she was having an affair in the first place. And I've asked her and she kept denying it. Of course she would deny it. My God. I need to know if the affair is still going on. I love my wife and I need to repair my marriage. Are you on duty right now? You bet you I am. <laughs> so you're drinking on duty, Mr. Bodyguard? More like your guardian angel. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. Well, I gave you my word. Yes, you did. And I like men that keep to their words. So how was your meeting? It went well. Okay. Uh, can I ask you a question? Um, do you have any idea 
who you think might have been responsible for the kidnap? No. You know, Derek thinks that I planned my own kidnap for money. That's ridiculous that he would think that. I know. I mean, I still have nightmares from this incident. I even find myself looking over my shoulders sometimes. Well, I can guarantee you that that will never happen again. Not only is it my business to protect you, it's also my job to find the people who are responsible and make them pay. I would like that. While you were kidnapped, did they ask anything about your husband? No. Nothing about his business, where he is, and how they can find him? Not at all. They were only focused on the ransom money. Excuse me, ma. I I found this under the pillow. Should I wash it or keep it in the wardrobe? Open it. That's not mine. Are you sure, ma? <sighs> of course I'm sure. I will know my pants if I see one. But I found it under your pillow. Could this be Tasha's? <laughs> it has to be hers, since you said it's not yours. Keep it here. Continue with your cleaning. All right, ma'am. Okay. Why did you cheat on me? I didn't mean to. Why did you do it? It was a mistake. Did you love her? Don't be ridiculous. I just told you it was a mistake. You know our marriage will never be the same anymore. Stop saying that, Rachel. I want a divorce. What? Are you out of your mind? Huh? You can't keep me here, Boali. I want out of this marriage. I forgave you. Even when I found out that you cheated on me too. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you think I don't know? That the money you got for your mom's surgery was, was from a man and it wasn't for free? Why don't we just call it even and work on it? I will continue to resent you, Boali. I don't even think I can respect or trust you anymore. And if I can't do that, what's the point of staying in this marriage? Listen to me. We both had a vow. For better or worse. Till death do us part. You're going nowhere. And that's final. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Regarding plans to relocate to Canada, I think we need to set the plans in motion so that we can make it happen as soon as possible. So, you want to leave your wife here in Nigeria and relocate with my sister to Canada? Oh. You did say it was a good idea. That was before I knew you both were having an affair. Had no, an affair, Eunice. No, Michael. You're still sleeping together. And I know for a fact you're doing it in this room. Miss, come on, stop talking, please. 
What was Tasha's panties doing under our pillow? What are you talking about? Michael, stop pushing me. Because you do not know what I'm capable of. <laughs> On the contrary, dear wife. I know the full extent of her capabilities, which is why I've decided to get as far away from you as possible. Mm -hmm. You and your charming princess can ride off into the sunset. But trust me, you both will pay dearly for this. Divorce K. What is wrong with you, Rachel? Mom, it is what I want. You can't want it because you will not get it. After all I've done to keep this family together, do you want all my effort to go to waste? It can't work. I stopped regarding him as my husband from the day that detective walked in here to tell me about his pregnant mistress. You are still angry. It's understandable. But give it time. Don't jump to the vaults. It's for everyone's good. Trust me. No, you trust me. Give him time. Okay? She said she found your panties underneath our bed. That's not possible. Well, I was surprised too. Goodness, my God, this is getting crazier. I have to leave this house as soon as possible. No, we need to leave this country as soon as possible. Have you contacted the travel agent like we agreed you should? Yes, I have. I already gave him your passport and he said he was going to get back to me on the visa appointment date as soon as possible. Look, Tash, your sister is a ticking time bomb. I know. With that kidnapper that she says is trying to blackmail her. And I don't want to be anywhere near close when things just blow up. I'm sorry. Sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. ah, this madam said I should call you. Where is she? She's in her bedroom. What? <sighs> Carlos calling. I promised yeah. him the last time I saw him that I'll give him what he wants by the end of the week. Why would you promise him that? Because I'm hoping you would give me what I asked. <sighs> Michael told me you saw my pants. That's not important. Where are you on getting close to? Gerald. I'm sorry, Eunice, but I'm not going to do what you're asking of me. What are you two discussing? That's none of your business. You're my business, Michael. Everything about you is my business. Listen. Tonya, you need to get out of here, okay? Your madam has bitten more than she can chew, and she's in big trouble. I'm not going anywhere as long as I'm still here. Well, I'm getting out of here really soon. And for your own good, I suggest you do the same. if we don't give Carlos what he wants? And do you have any idea how much trouble we'll be getting ourselves into if we go ahead with your plan and things go south? Do you? Do your part and we will be fine! Not gonna happen, Venus. Because it seems to me like you're trying so hard to get somebody to go down with you. So you're not going to help me? I will gladly help you with anything. But not me committing any crime. That is the line I'm never going to cross for anybody. Not even you, Eunice. Don't 
Does this belong to you? Yes. And why is it there? My husband will not be going to Canada with you. So cancel every plans you have towards that. Get out of my room. Get out of my room! Get out! Hello, Carlos. Let's see tomorrow. Everything is set. I need a good divorce lawyer. For who? Myself. I want to end my marriage. Uh, I'm glad you finally realized. But it's a pity you waited this long and allowed that scum waste your time. Well, better late than never. I need a divorce lawyer who is really good and can speed things up. I don't want to waste time. I think I... I think I know who to talk to on your behalf. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So have you spoken to Gerard recently? He stopped calling me. You stopped taking his calls. And it's only natural he gets discouraged. He ruined my life. What am I supposed to do, be grateful to him? Have you taken the HIV test? No. Rachel, it is you who wants to ruin your own life. You need to know your status before this thing gets too worse to manage. Hmm. Serve my lunch, please. I didn't cook. Why not? I wanted to, but I couldn't get myself to. What does that mean? It means I couldn't get myself to keep playing wife when I'm no longer interested in this marriage. You're overflogging this, Rachel. I don't want to fight, Bowali. I just want to move on with my life. Stop saying that. But it's true. You can't keep me here when my soul, my heart, and every fiber of my being doesn't want to be in this marriage anymore. So, does the marital vow, or for better, for worse, mean nothing to you? I'm done, Bowali. And I want out. Please respect my wish. No, you have to respect my own wish of trying to make this marriage work at all cost. There's no perfect marriage out there, not even that of your friends that you so much envy. Don't speak what you know nothing of. Really? Michael lost his job early into their marriage. And now he's working as a taxi driver only to survive. That doesn't even make sense. That's because your friend, Eunice, is lying to you about your perfect marriage. They're struggling to. My lunch, please. Are you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> You're taking alcohol during working hours. I don't like you, Derek. I'll ensure I don't get drunk. <laughs> Thank you. 
So where are we with your luxury goods company? It's been put on hold. Why? I'm a bit distracted with what's going on. And what is going on? I need to take some time back and put things in perspective. Derek, you cannot put that project on the pause. If there's any time you're supposed to speed up, this is the time. You need to make sure that that project is coming to a conclusion very soon. As fast as possible, Derek. Why? Because the law is going to come after everything you and Austin have ever built. With the process from the drug trade. I mean your houses, your company, and everything underneath his name. That is if they can prove the drug accusations. Oh, God. Derek, you still think your brother is going to get away with his crimes? It won't be the first time. Huh. Take it from an insider, Derek. You need to get everything you want to get as fast as possible and keep it in the safest place. Your next victim is ready for pickup. Whoa! I, I feel like big dancing now. So give me details. This one is going to be smoother and easier than Mabel's deal. I like that. These are the details. Okay. Hmm. And this is the picture of your victim. Wait a minute. Is this not your sister? Forget about who she is. She's the next person paying your money. This is your sister. You told me, Eunice. How is that any of your business? The good thing here is that she doesn't have to call anybody to pay her ransom. All you need to do is to make her transfer all the money she has in her account to any account of your choice. <sighs> this is a setup, isn't it? How do you mean? How do you expect me to kidnap your sister who already knows me? and is aware of our plan. Do you want money or not? Of course I want money, but to me everything sounds like a setup and I'm not falling for it. Trust me, it's not a setup. You think she won't know it was you after we empty her account and release her? You're not going to release her. Once you collect all the money in her account, you kill her. Don't do that. Don't call the love to my wife. Soon you won't be able to call me that. Call you what? Your wife. I told you, Bowley, I want a divorce. Here we go again. What is wrong with you, Rachel? You're shouting. You wake up the night. I don't care. I'm tired of this, your divorce talk. So give me what I want then. Give me a divorce. You're possessed. You need a deliverance. You're the one who had an affair. Got a girl pregnant and I'm the one who needs deliverance. 
When are we ever going to flip past that page? For God's sakes, Rachel. Huh? Until you give me a divorce, Wally. It was you, right? Are you talking to me? Don't play dumb with me, you little cunning witch. What have I done this time? How did my panties get into my sister's bedroom? <laughs> and I'm surprised you still think you have the right to call her your sister, even as you're trying to take her husband. Hmm, I see. Wait, are you going to stab me with a knife? <laughs> it's called self-defense. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I can see you want to play dirty, right? Let's play. Are you denying your husband the two important meals a man needs from his wife? I don't want to talk about that. Why are you doing all this? If not for anything, you shouldn't let my effort in saving this marriage go to waste so you can have a happy marriage. Mm -mm. Mommy, nobody asked you to save any marriage and nobody asked you to kill anybody. So that is the thank you I get for getting my hands stained with blood so you can have a happy marriage. Mommy, I completely appreciate your motherly love and concern for my happiness. But honestly, Mommy, I really wish you didn't. Well, I did. And we are here now. You are going to forgive your husband so you make your marriage work. It will not work, Mommy. I can't see Boy as my husband anymore. And as a matter of fact, I'm already speaking to a divorced lawyer. No! Rachel, you're joking! I am not. I will bring her out tomorrow. We'll go to the salon and maybe afterwards watch a movie. I needed to double cross my car on my way back and grab her. I still feel this is a setup and I'm not falling for it. How else do you want me to convince you that this is as real as it gets? I think you're trying to set me up for the police to catch me in the art, isn't it? If I do that, you will tell them about my involvement in Mabel's kidnap. Do you think I want them to know that? I understand you don't like Mabel that much, but why would you want to do that to your blood? Do you want money or not, Carlos? Of course I want money, but I'm obviously not a murderer. <laughs> so you are all back and no bite. <sighs> Listen. Just find me someone I can get money from and set free like we did with Mabel. That's all. The only sacrificial lamb I have to offer you is Tasha. Is it that you take it or you leave it? Your wife is determined to make all my efforts to keep this marriage go to waste. I really don't know what's wrong with Rachel. She's out of her senses, and we have to keep her in check until she comes back to her senses. Mama, how 
are we supposed to do that? Especially now that she's already talking to a divorce lawyer, like you said, she told you. Hmm. You will have to blackmail her to stay in this marriage long enough until she comes back to her senses. If you go ahead with this divorce plan, I will force to let the police know the truth about the law's death. What truth? You and I know who killed Elohu. And I'm sure you wouldn't want them to find out. So you plan to blackmail me to keep me in this marriage? Well, you leave me no choice, Rachel. Why do you want to do this to yourself, Boali? Why do you want to keep a woman who is determined to leave? You. We took a vow for better, for worse. And I will make sure that you keep that vow. Guessing late, when would you want to head home? Are you coming? Of course. I'm going to follow you home to make sure you get home safe and then I head back to mind. Mm. So what if I don't want you to leave? Spend the night? <clears throat> I'm not sure that's a very good idea. You're here to protect me, right? Right. And I feel safe around you. We know that it's very dangerous at night. Um, you have men at the gate to ensure your safety. Let's just say I feel safe around only you. Don't make me beg you to do your job, please. I'll be tendering my resignation letter next week as a PI agent. Why would you want to do that? I want to concentrate on us. Would your boss just let you go like that? No, please. There's no law that says I cannot resign when I no longer find the job satisfying. But you can be prosecuted for turning on your people. And who says I'm turning in on them? You were sent here as an undercover agent. Resigning from there and keeping your job here might just result in some consequences. That's why I'm going to resign here too. You're resigning from two jobs at the same time? Yes. But I was thinking you could entrust the building of your luxury goods company to me. That way I could keep myself busy. I don't want you to resign from your private investigation duties yet. Why not? I thought you were supposed to be happy about this. I'm happy that you're doing this for us. But I need you to remain there for now. Why? Whatever information you can gather regarding my ongoing investigation about my brother would be very useful to us. Javik, this thing you're telling me to do is very dangerous. I know. Huh. But you're a smart lady. I know you can pull this one off. Oh, I just hate the fact that I love you too much. I love you too. He's blackmailing me to stay with him. Blackmailing you with what? He says he'll tell the police my mom killed his pregnant mistress if I divorce him. He wouldn't do that. He says he will. And I believe him. So what are you going to do? I don't want my mom to go to jail. So I will stay with him and 
Make him wish he let me go. I told you that guy is far from being innocent. No, Donna. That sounds like you really want to help them. Where do you think you're coming from by this time? Huh? Does it look like I care? Do you know what the time is? For you to waltz into my house just like that? We're supposed to make dinner for me. Dinner? Didn't I make it clear I'm never cooking for you in this house again? You're my wife, Rachel. Part of your responsibility is to make meals for me. The only reason you can still call me your wife is because you blackmailed me to stay with you. I'm only trying to help you keep your vows, Rachel. Well, help yourself by letting me go, Boali. You disgust me. I am tired of waking up every day next to you. We need to fast and pray about the situation. No. I am tired of your hypocritical lifestyle. I just want to be free and do what I please with my life. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world and end up losing his soul? What would it profit a man if he keeps a woman who doesn't love him anymore? You are trying to make a lifelong decision out of this temporary anger. And I will not allow you to do that. As a matter of fact, Boali, I am doing you a favor by asking you to let go of me. I'm trying to save your life. What do you mean by trying to save my life. I'm HIV positive and I don't want to infect you. So it's me that has to start chasing you around over something you came begging for. How do you mean, madam? You said you would get back to me. Why is it taking so long? Kidnapping, getting ransom and setting the victim free is simpler than when you're insisting that we get rid of the victim after payment. How hard can it be? It requires thorough planning. Who is going to kill her? How are we going to kill her? How do we even get rid of her body? Are we, are, we, are we going to be able to live with ourselves after we kill her? Do you expect me to answer those questions? Well, I'm just trying to make you understand that kidnapping and killing someone are two different ball games. Can you get someone else to do the job? Because it's very obvious you are incompetent. Except her acts around. She will be leaving for Canada very soon. The luxury of time is what I do not have. That means I have to get back to you as soon as possible. Please do. I'll take my leave.
Good morning, mommy. Is that alcohol you're drinking? Yes. Do you want some? Just a little. How could you be drinking alcohol so early in the morning? It's noon somewhere in the world. You shouldn't be drinking, Rachel. <sighs> Why? Let me guess. It's against our religious beliefs. <laughs> I beg. What did you tell your husband last night? I told him so many things. Which part in particular are you referring to? The part you told him you are HIV positive. Mm-hmm. What about it? Are you insane, Rachel? Why would you tell such lie about yourself? It's not a lie, Mom. I just want him to let me go. Stop wishing such evil on yourself. <sighs> the man I slept with to raise money for your surgery is HIV positive. <sighs> And I only found out a few months after we slept together. Rachel, are you being serious right now? Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about all this, Rachel. Don't worry your head, Mom. I'll be fine. You shouldn't have told your husband about this HIV thing. I haven't even confirmed my status yet. It's just... I just want him to let me go, Mommy. Go to where, Rachel? My heart is not in this marriage anymore, Mommy. I just want to be happy, live life, have fun, see the world. Live my life to the fullest before I die. And I can't do that while I'm still stuck in this marriage. Do you want to live a reckless life? I just want to be happy and live my life to the fullest before I die. Is that too much to ask? So, have you told your brother about me yet? Sanchez did. And what did he say? He says I should handle the situation. <laughs> handle the situation like fire me from the company or kill me. He left that decision in my hands. Huh. My boss is already telling me to step down from these investigations. That I'm not making any headway. If I may ask, why didn't you make any headway though, before we started dating? I was stolen. I mean, I'm weak and helpless around you. It's unexplainable. Are you the only undercover agent? Or are there others in the lounge I should know about? Derek, I'm the only undercover agent. What country is your brother in? I don't know if I should answer that. Really? You do not trust me at this stage? Maybe I don't know. Your brother is in Brazil as we speak, and he just left Japan two weeks ago. How do you know that? Tell him to watch his back that he's not safe in Brazil as he thinks he is. And if you don't trust me enough, you better let me know so that I'll start learning to get over you. It may be hard, but trust me, I'll be fine eventually. How have you been now? How is your husband? He's fine. Mm. Thank you. Thanks, dear. So... Mabel said she hasn't seen you at the lounge in a long time. I've been busy. You know my beauty parlors. It's taking oh. so much of my time. 
Well, Boaz said your husband told him that he is currently out of job and that's why he's a taxi driver and <laughs> I couldn't make any sense out of that. <laughs> Please, don't mind Michael. He's trying to diversify and establish a big um, transportation company. Oh. And he insisted he must practicalize it. Oh. So that's what he's doing. Oh. He doesn't want anybody to cheat him. Yeah. Okay. So why would he tell Boale he was out of job? I'm sure your husband didn't hear him well. He resigned. You know, he said he's tired of working for people. You know men now. Oh. Okay, I see. <laughs> you told Bowale you're a taxi driver? He found out himself a long time ago. Found out how? It's a long story, Eunice. You see what I've been telling you about this, your taxi nonsense? Well, which is exactly why I told you I want to travel. To spare you the embarrassment, your royal highness. That's not an option. You are not going to Canada with Natasha. What do you want from me, Eunice? No, 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 please tell me. What do you want from me? You don't want me, you don't want me driving a taxi? You don't want me to, to travel abroad to better my life? What do you want? What can you do with 20 million naira? Where will I get that kind of money from? Just answer the question. And I mean good business, not Ponzi scheme. But you tell me where I'm going to get the money from first. I will give it to you. Where will you get that kind of money from, Eunice? You don't need to know. Oh, but I do. I do need to know. Could it be part of the money you collected as ransom for Mabel's kidnap? 